there's nothing better than Facebook for impulse buying. It will allow you to target specific audiences, show your ads, track conversion, and retarget your existing customers. What's most powerful about Facebook is that it allows you to create lookalike audiences. Basically, target that percentage of the population that's most similar to your existing one. However, if you run a general store and send all your tracking data to one single pixel, you'll get a mixed audience. And if you create a lookalike audience for it, it will be mixed as well. Not allowing you to target properly any of the audiences that your store targets. There is an easy solution to avoid this. Add multiple Facebook pixels to your store and segment your big audience into several homogenous ones. And the Vitals Facebook Pixel app allows you to create unlimited pixels to handle all your tracking needs. The setup is pretty straightforward. You click here to add a new pixel, insert the pixel ID here and decide where you want it to fire. If you want the pixel to be present across your entire store, that's possible of course. It may come in handy if Facebook decides to shut down your ad account, as we've seen happen so many times before. You might want to target all the products in a collection, or even specific products based on a certain tag. This is how you can fire the pixel only on your winning product, making sure the audience you create is laser focused. You probably have the Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension already installed. If not, you can find it here, and also I've left a link in the description below. Let's give it a shot right now. I'm accessing one of my ad accounts. I can create up to 5 within my business manager. Then check my events manager, I click on the first pixel over here, go to settings and simply click on the pixel ID here to copy it. I return to vitals and add it here. In the store, I'm forced refreshing to clear the browser's cache faster. And you'll see the two pixels. The pixel added to Shopify, the one ending in 380 and this new pixel, the one that ends in 125, and both of them fire properly. I'm now choosing a new ad account, and copy the Facebook pixel ID from here. And now I'm adding it to a specific collection. Let's pick the kids and youth collection on our demo store. I'm first refreshing on the current page, which is not in that collection. And you'll see in the pixel helper extension, the two pixels. If I navigate to a product page that's in the new kids and youth collection, you'll see three pixels firing including the one targeted on that specific collection. Once I add this product to cart, you'll see the add to cart event fired on all three pixels. The same happens when you want to fire a pixel on specific products, by simply adding the tag here in the app. As you've seen, you can use our app alongside the Facebook channel that you enable in your Shopify admin. Just make sure you never add the same pixel there and here, as it may result in a double counting. Also, please remember that apps are not allowed to function within Shopify's checkout, so this pixel will not fire the Add Payments Info event. It will, however, fire the Initiate Checkout event when the checkout button is clicked, unless you are using a drawer card or upsell apps that prevent us from intercepting the click. It will also fire the Purchase event on the Thank You page. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we post new videos every single week. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.